queridos hermanos y hermanas. Dear brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Estoy contento de estar hoy aquí. I'm very happy to be with you today. Junto a toda esta gran familia. Along with uh, this big family which surrounds you. Veo a sus maestros. I see your teachers. Your parents and your family members. Por Thank you for letting me come. Y les pido perdón, and a los I ask especially your teachers to forgive me for stealing a few minutes of their class time. Están todos ya Everybody's ya happy, I know. Me han contado They tell me que una de las that one of the nice things about this school and about the work that is being done here is that uh, some of the students here, some of you, come from other places and many from other countries. And that is nice. Even though I know that it is, it is not always easy to have to move and find a new home, new neighbors, and new friends. It is not easy, but one has to begin. At the beginning, it can be hard and tiring, right? Oftentimes, you have to learn a new language, adjust to a new culture, even a new climate. There is so much to learn, and not just the work at school, but also many other things. Like, for example, you were playing with your ball very well. The good thing is that we also make new friends, and this is very important. The good friends that we find, we meet people who open doors for us, who show their kindness to us, their friendship to us, their understanding, and they try to help us so that we do not feel like strangers, like foreigners. It is work that is being done by people who help us feel at home. Although sometimes our imagination takes us back to our homeland, but we find good people that help us feel at home. How nice it is to feel that school, that meeting places, are a second home. This is not only important for you, but also for your families. So, school ends up being one big family for all. One where together with our mothers and fathers and grandparents, teachers and friends, we learn to help one another, to share our good qualities, to give the best of ourselves, to work as a team, to play as a team. That's very important as well. And to pursue our goals. Very near here, quite near here, there is a very important street named after a person who did a lot for other people. I would like to recall this person with you. I'm talking about Reverend Martin Luther King. One day he said, I have a dream. He dreamt that many children, many people, could have equal opportunities. His dream was that many children like you could have access to education. He dreamt that many men and women like you could keep their head high 
with the dignity of those who can earn their keep. It is beautiful to have dreams. It is beautiful also to be able to fight for those dreams. Don't forget about that. Today, we want to keep dreaming. We celebrate all the opportunities which enable you and us, adults, not to lose the hope of a better world with greater possibilities. So many here that have greeted and that, that have been introduced to, they also dream with you. They dream about this. And that is why they become involved in this kind of work. They get involved in your lives to go with you along this path. We all dream. I always know that one of the dreams of your parents and teachers and of all those that help you, and also Cardinal Dolans as well, he's a very good man, the dream is that you can grow up and live with happiness. Here I see you smiling, keep smiling and help bring joy to everyone you meet. It is not always easy. There are pro problems in all households. There are difficult situations. There is sickness. But keep dreaming about living with joy. Everyone here, children and adults, you all have the right to dream. And I am very happy that you, whether at school or here, you can find in your teachers and friends and everyone that comes near you to provide assistance, you can find, I was saying, the support you need to do it. Wherever there are dreams, wherever there is joy, Jesus is always present. Always. Now, who sows sadness? Who sows distrust and envy and evil desires? What's the name of that? The devil. The devil. The devil sows sadness because he does not want to see us happy. They don't want us to dream. Where there is joy, Jesus is always present because Jesus is joy and he wants to help us to feel that joy every day of our lives. Before going, I would like to give you some homework. Can I do that? It is a simple request, but very important. Please don't forget to pray for me so that I can share with many people the joy of Jesus. Let us also pray so that many people can share the joy like yours, like when you feel accompanied, assisted, when you feel that you're getting advice. Although there are problems, of course, there may be problems, but you have peace in your, in your hearts because Jesus will never abandon you. May God bless you and every one of you and Our Lady protect you. Thank you.
Oh, I think about him.